This is the Hollywood Podcast. Transmission will begin momentarily. How you doing, guys? Let's start the show. Slow down the volume. Alright, let's do this. In this episode, we're going to talk about what's on the news, what's recently just being blasted on the news. Robert O'Rourke, I won't call him by his real name, I don't call him by his fake name. Beto, you know what Beto stands for in Spanish? Beta male, that's what it is. Beto, it stands for beta male. And basically, this guy, this, this congressman that lost the Senate to Ted Cruz in Texas, right, that couldn't beat his own state, couldn't even win his own state, decided to put in his ticket as candidate as president of the United States. This guy, this guy is such a sissy, all right? Who? He is not a leader. He doesn't look like he's going to get his butt chewed. He's going to get his butt chewed, especially by Donald Trump. And I'll... Th- so he that makes him 15, excuse me, that makes him 15, the 15th candidate in the Democratic. And then when Joe Biden gets in, it's going to be 16. It's going to be a circus. It is a circus right now. It's ridiculous. Beta O'Rourke, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Beta O'Rourke, you're going to tell me he want to run for the United States. I'm not saying he can't, but why would anybody vote for him? You know, this guy got a, a, a record. A criminal record. This guy apparently he got, he got one for drunk driving and another one for vandalism, something like that. But anyway, I know, I know, I know he got one for drunk driving and all this stuff, right? And he want to run. So, why? <laughs> why would you want to run? He, by my parent, by what I see in him, I don't see a leader in him. I see a sissy boy, you know, a beta male. I think his wife wore the pants in the family. His wife tell him what to do. He don't tell. He's not the. He don't. He's not the leader in his household. All right. That's what I see. I don't know. I might be wrong, but it doesn't. By my by appearance, by what I see, it doesn't look like he's he got enough, enough guts to stand stand against his wife. You know, his wife make all the shots, say all the things, and he just stand there. He just look like a sissy. He's he's not an alpha male. Well, he's he say he started a punk band, and he's still skateboard. I don't think that's very appealing to most people out there. I mean, the generation hasn't changed yet. The people, the baby boomer, haven't hadn't died off yet. So how is that appealing? And plus, I don't think most baby boomers want a young. Well, they vote for Barack Obama, but that's a whole different story. But him, Beta Award guy, who. who Hardly beat Ted Cruz, right? And Ted Cruz is not Ted Cruz is not a popular guy. But Ted Cruz beat him. Fair and square. So I think Ted Cruz beat him by fifty percent fifty percent in Texas for Senate. And and then and to make matters worse, Beta O'Rourke or Robert O'Rourke, let's call him by his real name, Robert O'Rourke. Beta he just try he just tried to appeal to the Latin voter. He tried to buy off votes, try to change the name so it could captivate the Latino votes, right? The Latino votes. So so that's why that's why he changed his name. Let's call it real, what it really is. He changed his name just to appeal to be more broad. In actuality he's just a is a white guy. He's just a white guy. But um but what I'm trying to say. Um it was on the top of my tongue. What is it? What is it? See, this is the uh, if you, when you listen to my podcast, it's, it's uncut, unedited. I don't like none of that mama jumbo. It shows I like to show you who I am, my true self, unedited, unfiltered. Because a lot of YouTubers like to chop, slice, and dice, and it's hard to resonate with people like that. You 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 don't know how they behave in public or what type of people there are. But I just like to show. My, I hate editing. People won't tell me edit all that. Man, don't worry about. It. But anyway, better work. Right. Oh yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Back to Bader work. He's a he's a three term senator, right? Within his three term no three term congressman. Let me reiterate, three term congressman, right? When, since two thousand twelve, right? When Barack Obama in there, right? Three term. Within that three term, he has not accomplished anything. 
All right? He did not accomplish anything. He didn't sign any new bill. He didn't propose anything new. He was just three terms. Within three terms, you could do a lot of things. Was it, but with him, he hadn't done anything. He just sit there and just collect the checks. That's what they do. These congressperson, they just sit there and collect the checks. Collect, 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 collect checks. And now he want to think, he thinks he's going to run for president. He hadn't, he haven't lead in this district yet. What makes you think he's going to lead the United States? He haven't led a campaign to win for Senate. What makes you think he's going to win the United States, the vote of, of the American people? All right? And this guy's a clown. So he's going to get chewed at. Like, people going to... People are going to attack him and say, hey, you've been there for three years or three terms as a congressman. What have you achieved? What have you achieved? He's going to say nothing. He's just, he's just going to say, I will do that. Will do that. No, 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 man. It's based on your record. You have to do something. You have to some, have some kind of. I know Donald Trump. Donald Trump isn't a politician, right? At least he created jobs. All right? Better work. Well, he, I guess, I don't know where you're wrong. They say he started a business firm, a media company, but media companies BS. You already know that. But Donald Trump employed hundreds, even thousands of people, I think. Maybe he's in the thousands, but he employed hundreds. He created a lot of jobs, created a lot of buildings, real estate, homes for people, right? He created a lot of things. That's, that's, that's one thing that I give to Donald Trump. That's why I think he's dessert, he got a lot of votes because he's not a typical politician. He don't speak out of his butt. All right, he has some accomplishment at least. Sure, it wasn't legislative because he wasn't a politician, but he he contributed to society by creating jobs, lift people out of poverty, providing work. All right, but Beto work. This guy, he just sit there and collect checks. Him and his gray hair. Not to bash on people with gray hair. I'm getting gray hair myself. But him. This guy is ridiculous. Beta O'Rourke, are you kidding me? Beta male O'Rourke. Beta O'Rourke. Beta O'Rourke. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Beta O'Rourke. He's a beta male. He's not alpha. He's beta. He's taken it from the bottom. He don't, he's a receiver. He's not a tosser. <laughs> but uh, anyway, beta O'Rourke, he's not going to win. He's a joke of a candidate. He's ridiculous. He's just one more clown to put in, put in the circus. But, yeah, that's what's going on today. I just want to give my two cents on him. I'll probably do more. He'll probably do more. Within the year, more dirt will come out. I assure you that with every candidate. More stupid comments, more dirt, more ridiculousness, more pandering to the voter, pandering, you know. But that's what you expect from the Democrats, these socialist Marxists. But on that note, you guys have a good day. I bid you farewell and see you in the next video. Stop. Peace.